uh, it's 10 a.m. We are still waiting for our chief guest and I'm special guest deputy ambassador from EKN. So uh, let's wait for another minute, another minute or two.
I, I I got the news from uh, DG sir. Uh, she she is going to join within a, within one or two minutes, uh, and also um, uh, deputy deputy ambassador. Um, uh, So let's wait for another two minutes, then we, we are going to start. Kishore? Yes, the, the, the deputy ambassador is uh, having some issues with the internet. Okay. So she will be, she's asking us to wait another few minutes. She's trying to get in. Okay, um, maybe uh, as soon as the DG, DG sir joins, we can start and maybe she can yes. like this. Yes. Yeah, she's I have, a, I have a device now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, he said he's here. So we can start. Welcome. Uh, uh, I think I think uh, we, 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 we can start now. Okay. Uh, welcome to the fifth oh, share net. My Bangladesh. apologies. No, it's it's okay. It's part of this online conference so you are having some issues i, I think others so we, we are also having some issues but glad that we are finally here thank you very much for joining thank uh, you I, well, sorry i have a device uh, and okay. i'm happy to be here thank you can you can you hear us clearly great thank you so i think everyone is here so we are going to open the session uh, so, uh, welcome to the fifth ShareNet Bangladesh SRH and Knowledge Fair. I am Kishore Kumar Bosha, coordinator of ShareNet Bangladesh. This is the first time we are going to orga we are organizing this Knowledge Fair online, and we hope you will be with us till the end of the event to take home with you the gems of knowledge from our speakers and presenters today. Good morning, Slam Alaikum, Shuprabhat. I'm Masuma Billa from ShareNet Bangladesh. Our theme of this uh, knowledge fair this year is SRHR for youth and adolescent. So in this virtual conference, I would uh, invite everybody to visit our stall of the exhibition, our conference hall, digital conference hall, the platform, the poster presentation, and to participate in today's plenary session and the parallel session. <coughs> To encourage you to stay tuned until the closing ceremony because in the closing ceremony we are going to present the first time SRHR award from ShareNet Bangladesh. Thank you. We would now like to hand over the session to Arnab Chakraborty, the project director of ShareNet Bangladesh, to moderate the opening session, introduce you to our special guests and speaker, and to walk you through the events of the day. Over to you, Arnab. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kisho Kumar Boshak. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, uh, our guests, our chief guests. Good morning, our special guest. Uh, very much welcome to our members um, who are watching now uh, this event. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very special day for, for ShareNet Bangladesh. Um, it's our uh, largest um, event is the largest um, event in SRHR in Bangladesh. So uh, this is the fifth knowledge fair. Uh, in, the, we, in the last uh, few years, uh, it gradually grew as the largest SRHR event in Bangladesh. For uh, last year, we had hundreds of uh, practitioners, uh, researchers, uh, students, 
uh, who were there and uh, we had a lot of interaction with each other. We spent usually the whole day together under one roof. Um, and uh, uh, we have the opportunity to, to exchange our, our uh, experience, our knowledge. And, um, and uh, we, while we have a, an amazing day every year, very unfortunately this year, we will have to do this online. So, um, um, so but uh, uh, we have tried to, do, to, to, to keep this event as we always do, we tried our best to create. There is for you who are now watching live. Uh, for you, as you know, already have seen, there is an online virtual venue. Um, you can actually have everything uh, like last year. There is an exhibition. You can visit the exhibition, poster presentation. You can see poster presentations. Uh, so uh, there are, the, you can also do networking. So every, all possibilities, facilities are uh, there. It's very, very sad, unfortunate that we can't see each other in this uh, studio, visual studio, only the guests are here and all our members uh, watching us through live stream from, from the venue, from the virtual venue. Uh, uh, we are very, very pleased um, having, having our chief guest and special guest here. I would like to uh, thank you very much for, for making your precious time for, for this event. Uh, I uh, would uh, like to thank you, um, Honorable Director General uh, Parvin Akhtar, you, you have uh, for being here with us as the chief guest of this event. And uh, I'd like to thank you, um, Your Excellency, the Deputy Ambassador, Paula Schindler for joining us um, uh, today. Uh, so uh, I would also like to uh, thank our special guest, uh, Caroline Crosby, Senior Country Director of Bangladesh Pathfinder International uh, for being with us. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, I would also like to thank our uh, special guest speaker, uh, Sayada Farhana Kaunain. You are the Deputy Commissioner and District Magistrate of North Shindy. So uh, we will talk about you also later. There is a special reason why we have invited you. Uh, so we are really great uh, being here today, having you here uh, with us today. So we would, uh, we have, we started a bit late. We have uh, 45 minutes around for this session. Um, I would like to invite all our members uh, who are watching live to, to be with us as, as uh, uh, my colleagues already uh, announced. Do we have this opening session? After this opening session, we have a plenary session. And, and from the, after the plenary session, we have uh, three parallel scientific sessions. So, and, and then we have also workshop and the end which is uh, around 2 p.m. we will start our closing session. This closing session, we will also, as uh, already my colleagues mentioned, we will uh, have uh, give someone for the first time, award uh, someone who, because someone who, this is the first time we are from Shianit, Bangladesh, uh, giving award to someone who has uh, contributed a lot to SRHR in Bangladesh. This is an annual thing. We will do it from now on every year. So I would like to invite you all to be with us till the end and in between, and maybe after two, especially I would say after 2 p.m., please do visit the, the exhibition, see the posters, uh, do some networking. Unfortunately, there is no lunch, coffee, tea here, but please make yourself comfortable. Take a cup of coffee for yourself uh, or a cup of tea, and, uh, and uh, we will have a great day together. I, um, uh, uh, would like to request now, um, our chief guest, um, has some other, uh, appointments, has to leave earlier. She has requested us if she could, 
uh, be the first speaker. Uh, so we are uh, 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 really great that, great that you made your time, uh, Honorable DG, Department of uh, Women Affairs, Ministry of Women and Children Affairs, Ms. Parveen Akhtar. Thank you very much. Over to you. Assalamu alaikum and thank you all, respected guests, panelists, and all the young participants of this event. A very good morning to you all. I am pleased to attend the fifth knowledge fair by ShareNet Bangladesh as a chief guest. <coughs> it is also a huge honor to be here among so many great professionals and thinkers. We all know that the ongoing pandemic has pushed us to adapt to digital mode of communications and we are gradually used to this. I believe in the coming years, as Bangladesh will be on the way to achieving the sustainable development goals, we will have to be more productive than ever. We know that such event like the prestigious knowledge fair is very significant towards building a better society for all learning, sharing, and spreading knowledge, especially on the basic ones like sexual and reproductive health and right, is very inevitable for improving the quality of human lives. This essential task for a national development ultimately contributes to the humanity as a whole. Department of Women Affairs under the MOCA is responsible for women and children development. It is working for ensuring the equal opportunity to live a dignified life through improving the access to information and resource decision-making power, raising awareness and creating a safe environment. Hence, depart this department is implementing a number of projects and programs for this vulnerable section of the society at the very root level. Significant programs among these are IGA, the Income Gener Generating Activities Projects, Kishore Kishori Club, Kishori Resource Center, Accelerating Action to End the Early Child Marriage, and Accelerating Protection for Children, etc. All these activities are exclusively assigned for the development of the youth, youth generation. I would like to take this opportunity to emphasize on young people's sexual and reproductive health. I must address that SPHR of our youth and the adolescents must be taken very seriously. It is a fundamental component for building the next generation towards peace and sustainability. We must make sure that women and children are not disproportionately affected by the lack of health care and support. Even though pandemic is making the things very difficult for us, we must not forget that we have our young generation to take initiatives and reinforce the positive developments, be it if it for SPHR issues or other important aspects. So we must extend our hands with all cooperation and supports for them. I know that investment in SPHR for youth is also very crucial to achieving other sustainable goals that are directly linked to the toward development. Therefore, I must mention that young men and boys should learn more about SPHR because it affects them as much as it affects women and girls. We also need all our thought leaders to invest more time, effort and energy to implement SPHR in other sectors too. I would like to address the government's efforts to identify the gender differences pertaining to participation in various global initiatives, providing policy and legal framework, improving women's livelihood and empowerment. This will help in implementing a gender responsive budget and hence creating an enabling environment for women's advancement. Through these interventions, we'll be able to face the key challenges of achieving the SDG3, which stands for good health, 
and well-being for all. Besides, we also want to eradicate violence against women, prevent child marriage altogether, and bring the gender equality. It should be helpful if there is a close work partnership and coordination between the government and the shared net and its member uh, regarding these relevant programs, which will tend to support the constantly growing community of practice who are extensively working on gender, SPHR, and both the physical and mental well being of young people. I wish to express my gratefulness to my colleagues and representatives from the uh, government of Bangladesh and other agencies present here today and look forward to your active participation in projects involving the youth population. And also urge you to support the various organizations working on these issues. These efforts will surely help us to achieve the sustainable goals of 2030. Finally, I hope this knowledge fair and efforts will bring success for us all and help the entire nation. Thank you all and salam alaikum. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, uh, Director General, uh, for your valuable speech. Um, at uh, I, uh, I would like to, meanwhile, I'd like to say our two members who are following uh, this session, if you would like to say any, send any question, please send the questions um, uh, to us, and we will try to after this uh, this safety, after the speeches we will try to keep some room some space so that we can uh, answer to uh, some of your questions uh, maybe our guests would make some time to answer to your questions so please do send your questions um, as uh, um, as a special guest now we have uh, uh, with us someone who has uh, more than 25 years of experience in international family planning and uh, has dedicated her career in bringing life-saving SRHR services and programs to women and children. I would like to invite Caroline Crosby, the Senior Country Director of Pathfinder International Bangladesh to share her experience with us and deliver her speech. Uh, thank you very much and assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Chief guests, uh, Ms. Parvina Akhtar, Director General of MOCA. Special guests, uh, Paula Schindler, Deputy Ambassador to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Siada Bahana, uh, Deputy Commissioner and District Magistrate of Narasindi. Uh, esteemed Master of Ceremony, speakers, discussants, and participants. Uh, I would like to start first by congratulating Sharonet Bangladesh for organizing this fifth knowledge fair focusing on youth power and sexual and reproductive health and rights for adolescents and youth. Pathfinder International has a long history of working to provide reproductive health services to youth and it's an honor to be with all of you today. As mentioned earlier, we are living in a time of great uncertainty with the coronavirus pandemic and the impact it is having on education and the global economic outlook. However, there is one area we can see great progress, and that is in public support for adolescent and youth reproductive health in Bangladesh. The Ministry of Health's National Strategy for Adolescent Health recognizes that adolescents lack the structural and social supports to develop their full potential. And this is due mostly to harmful social norms, poverty, and lack of education. This strategy aims to ensure by 2030 that all adolescents will lead a healthy and reproductive, sorry, healthy and productive life and in a socially secure and supportive environment where they will have easy access to quality and comprehensive information, education, and services. 
This is quite an ambitious goal, but a laudable one. Um, but we know that the vast majority of teenage pregnancies um, occur in low and middle income countries that are characterized by limited healthcare uh, resources. The consequences of early pregnancy extend beyond the adolescent mothers themselves as well. We know that children of adolescent mothers have a 34% higher risk of death in the neonatal period and 26% higher risk of death by the age of five. So I would like to take advantage of this knowledge exchange uh, to share some thoughts. One is we know that in Bangladesh, there is a strong correlation as in many other places between marriage, fertility and contraceptives. According to the most recent uh, Bangladesh Demographic Health Survey of 2017-18, the median age at first marriage is around 16 and a half years old. This means that over half of Bangladeshi women are married in adolescence, with a higher likelihood of this in rural areas than in urban. And also we know that more than a quarter of Bangladeshi women aged 15 to 19 have begun childbearing. And at the same time, we know that contraceptive youth, especially um, modern method use among married adolescents and youth is lower than the national average for all women of reproductive age. So as young women and men start having children, their needs often extend beyond the scope of the more traditional and current adolescent health programs that we have today in Bangladesh. Similarly, the issues faced by young parents are not typically included in broader programs aimed at women of reproductive age or even married youth. First time parents vary by age um, in their life cycle um, and vary by other characteristics and the circumstances are shaped by contextual factors such as local gender norms and the health system capacity in their specific areas where they lead. So, but something they do have in common, all first time parents are experiencing pregnancy, delivery and parenting for the first time. And this provides a valuable unifying construct, if you will, a platform or a um, approach for understanding the specific needs of this very young first time parents and for building programs that advance their health and well-being. The healthcare system needs to be responsive to the needs of first time parents um, because it sets the stage for the rest of their reproductive lives. The ministry recognizes the importance of uh, the health needs of adolescents, as I mentioned earlier, and is strengthening its services. Uh, we should all be supporting this, uh, and indeed, uh, I believe it's very much on the right track. But this is not enough. We also need a strong enabling environment. That is a community that is engaged and demand is generated for proper services. So I would like to propose a greater focus on two goals that we could consider uh, and work for. One is the goal of a healthy social environment for rights-based uh, sexual and reproductive health programs and services for young women and men, and a goal of young people with expanded SRH knowledge, practices, skills, attitude, and rights. So for example, to achieve the first uh, goal I mentioned, the one of a healthy social environment, here we would need to ensure that household and families have accurate information and have uh, can support and, and enabling them to speak comfortably among themselves about sexual and reproductive health. We need uh, peer influence to be positive, not negative, and encouraging uh, related to SRHR. We need couples that are empowered to communicate with each other and learn and decide together about their reproductive choices. Uh, we need to support community influencers to publicly champion positive social and cultural norms. And of course, we need to support institutions like schools, workplaces to be youth responsive and have the capacity to educate, respond, and make appropriate referrals to meet the reproductive health needs of young people. 
So there are many promising strategies, uh, both globally and here in Bangladesh, but they need to be implemented at scale. Uh, and these include activities at various levels, as I mentioned earlier, household, peer, and community. And of course, we need youth to not just be partners uh, in these programs, but they also need to be leaders in these programs as well. And then let me uh, continue with the second goal that I mentioned of young people having expanded knowledge, practices, and attitudes towards sexual and reproductive health. Here, this would mean that young people have not only the skills, but also the agency and motivation to make healthy decisions. Young people will have safe and supportive opportunities to examine and understand their values, attitudes, and insights about sexuality. Young people will be able to hold and champion gender equitable attitudes and behavior, and young people would understand the attributes of a healthy relationship and are able to maintain respectful social and sexual relationships uh, free of violence. So here too, we have many promising uh, strategies to achieve that second goal, you know, strengthening communication skills among youth, uh, using evidence-based curricula to promote reflection on gender norms, attitudes, and behaviors, uh, use of digital technologies to support healthy adolescent and youth reproductive health behaviors, uh, strengthening interpersonal counseling skills, edutainment, and so forth, and of course, uh, promote rights-based training and information. So we need to support all of the above that I've mentioned um, through the application of a broad systems approach that examines and addresses the entire system's ability to respond to the specific needs of youth, ensuring evidence-based policy and guidelines are in place, and that provider uh, competencies at multiple levels and in multiple services are present. And then my last point that I'd like to make, um, and a very important one, is that gender considerations need to be integ integrated throughout all the programming. We need to promote gender transformation by addressing multi-level power hierarchies and ensuring that policies, practices, and behaviors at all levels of services and education um, are examined, they're challenged, and they're transformed toward um, a perspective that promotes women and young women's and men and boys leadership um, and enable a gender equitable access to services. We also know that unfortunately under the COVID lockdown and more and more limited mobility worldwide, including in Bangladesh, there's been an increase in sexual and gender-based violence. So we should all have a role to play in addressing SGBV in our respective activities. And I would challenge all of us to examine what can we do to contribute to the elimination of gender-based violence, especially as we're observing the 16 days of activism uh, to combat gender-based violence. So I'd like to close with the following thought, which again is not new, but still so important. Bangladesh has a vibrant youth population, yet there's a lot that needs to be done to ensure all young people can attain their aspirations. We know much of what we need to do, and I hope I shared uh, some of what we can and should do. We are in a moment where there is political will and supportive organizations at the ready to provide that support. And we're counting on the active participation and leadership of the youth of Bangladesh. So with that, I would close and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Crosby for, for your uh, amazing speech. Thank you so much. Um, now, um, uh, I would like to invite our another, other special guest, uh, a special guest who's with us, uh, who has contributed uh, a lot in the field of improving the infrastructure of education system in her area. She's a government official. Uh, she has 
received the National Education Award in 2018 because of her contribution to the education sector. Please welcome Sayeda Farhana Kaunai, the Deputy Commissioner and uh, District Magistrate of Narshindi. She is an icon of women's empowerment with a wide experience of working in the field level. I would like to request you to share with us your thoughts on the SRHR for adolescent and young people, which is the theme of the Knowledge Fair this year. Bismillah rahmani rahim. Assalamu alaikum, Shu Prabhat, and very good morning to chief's guests, special guests, and distinguished participants and others on the opening session of Sexual and Reproductive Health Rights Knowledge Fair 2020. At the same time, I would like to convey my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the ShareNet Bangladesh to arrange very timely and important program. Uh, as per my knowledge, and uh, though few participants or especially our uh, special guest, uh, one of them has already delivered his valuable speech. Uh, they are from abroad. Uh, but uh, Bengali is my mother tongue and we fought for our mother tongue. So I would like to deliver my speech in Bengali. Uh, Amra Shule December Mashiachi, the December Mashti Bangali uh, Jati Juno, Eti Guru Gatha Eti Mash, Bijoy Mash, Amra Shejuno, Janet Kit Bangladesh Tambra Page, Amon the Shishkin Bodonti, Shorbo Kali, Shorbo Sesto Bangali, Shadnatar Mahastabuti, Jati Pita Bongo Muntu Shek Mujibur Amanaputi, Pinum Rostrote and Gobi Pritta Gotta Capon Kurchi, Sheshate, that Bidhi at the Makhre Kamanaguchi, are Amade Emahan Mukti Jute J. বি মুক্তি যোদ্ধাগণ আত্মত্যাগ করেছেন এবং পরোক্ষম প্রত্যক্ষভাবে অংশ গ্রহণ করেছেন তাদের প্রতি আমাদের বিনম্র শ্রদ্ধা এবং গভীর কৃতজ্ঞতা সত্যিকার অর্থে আজকে যে বিষয়টি অবতারণা হয়েছে এটার জন্য আমি আবারো আমি শেয়ারনেট বাংলাদেশকে আবার উষ্ণ ধন্যবাদ এবং সাধুবাদ জ্ঞাপন করছি আমরা যদি সাসটেইনেবল ডেভেলপমেন্টের গোলের দিকে তাকাই সেটার যে তিন নম্বর গোল এবং পাঁচ নম্বর গোলটাকে প্রাধান্য দিয়ে কিন্তু আজকে প্রতিপাদ্য বিষয়টাকে স্থির করা হয়েছে সেটি হলো কিশোর ও তরুণদের যৌন ও প্রজনন স্বাস্থ্য অধিকার আমরা একটু পিছনের দিকে ফিরে যেতে চাই সেটা হলো আসলে এসে করে সন্তান তো সবারই লাগবে পিছনের দিকে ফিরে তাকালে আমরা দেখব 1990 সনের 90 দশকে বিশ্বব্যাপী যৌন ও Bangladesh were Betty Krom Noy, Unishuranubushala Ayajito, International Conference on Population Development, Shamalone, Jono O Projudon, Shasto Dikare Shate, Razniti, Shamajik Sreni, Orthentic Shokti, Shang City of Dishibongi, Shamu Greek Shamporkuni, Bistari Talachona Korahoyeti, Abong Bangladesh O Shamalonekti, Shodusurastro. A Karuni Bangladesh Shorkar, Enju de Shatini. যৌন ও প্রজনন স্বাস্থ্য অধিকার নিয়ে কাজ করে যাচ্ছে এরই ধারাবাহিকতা কিন্তু আজকে শেয়ারনেটের এই আয়োজন এবং আমি অনুষ্ঠানের শুরুতে যেটা আমি আমাদের যারা অনুষ্ঠান সঞ্চালনা করছেন ওনারা আজকে টোটাল কর্মপরিকল্পনাটা বলেছেন এবং আমি দেখেছি ওনাদের একটা প্রথমবারের মতো একটা অ্যাওয়ার্ডের ব্যবস্থা রাখা হয়েছে এটা নিঃসন্দেহে প্রশংসার দাবিদার কারণ যে কোনো কাজের স্বীকৃতি মানুষকে আরো বেশি দায়বদ্ধ করে তোলে এখন আমরা যদি we have a chinta kuri jashule SR HR. A take it to the Vistation Ami Kuri Jay, have a shaken uno, shaken chatta jury bisham sposho katu bishurich. Actual Jono Shasto, Jono Uthikar, Rojojon Goto Shasto, Ebong, Rojojon Goto Uthikar. Uthikar are Shasto, the term of the Patukama de Rache, shop the Guru Mate, Kathi Jono, a Turki Shur Ambrajara at Kalakuma Jaratur Nepur Nutohoi. নবুর দশকে যখন এই বিষয় নিয়ে কথা হচ্ছিল তখন সত্যিকার অর্থে কিন্তু নারীদেরকে প্রাধান্য দেওয়া হয়েছিল নারীদেরকে প্রাধান্য দেওয়ার কারণটা কি আপনারা সকলেই জানেন যখন কোনো একটি জনগোষ্ঠী পিছিয়ে পড়ে তখন তাকে প্রাধান্য দিয়ে কাজ করতে হয় কিন্তু বর্তমানে কিন্তু নারী পুরুষ নির্বিশেষে এমন কি তৃতীয় লিঙ্গ যেটা তাদের জন্য কিন্তু এসব বিষয় সমানভাবে প্রাসঙ্গিক এবং গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এটা আমি মনে করি 
আর আমরা বাংলাদেশের দিকে যদি তাকাই বাংলাদেশের সঙ্গে কিন্তু তারুণ্যের শক্তি বা তরুণ এটার কিন্তু একটি গভীর যোগসূত্র রয়েছে সেটা বাংলাদেশের জন্মের ইতিহাসটা যদি বিশ্লেষণ করি দল মত জাতি বর্ণ নির্বিশেষে মহান মুক্তিযুদ্ধে সকল বয়সী মানুষ কিন্তু অংশগ্রহণ করেছে কিন্তু একজাত তরুণের স্বতঃস্ফূর্ত অংশগ্রহণে কিন্তু আমরা সফল হতে পেরেছিলাম আর সেজন্য এখনো বাংলাদেশের অর্থনীতিতে কিন্তু মূল চালিকা শক্তি আমাদের তরুণ সমাজ আর আমাদের একটা সুখের বিষয় হলো যে বাংলাদেশ এখন ডেমোগ্রাফিক ডিভিডেন্ট যে স্বর্ণ যুগ সেটা পার করছে এখন একটি দেশের জন্য ডেমোগ্রাফিক যে এরা বা সোনালী সময় কিন্তু সব সময় আসে না যখনই আসে তখনই দেশটির মূল দায়িত্ব হয়ে পড়ে যে এই যুগটাকে কাজে লাগিয়ে সর্বোচ্চ সুবিধাটা দেশের জনগণের জন্য নেওয়া এখন আমরা যেহেতু এই ডেমোগ্রাফিক ডিভিডেন্টে আছে আমাদের মূল দায়িত্বটা হলো যে তরুণ সমাজকে আসলে আমাদেরকে কাজে লাগিয়ে নিতে হবে এখন আমরা শুধু বলছি আমাদের দায়িত্ব দায়িত্ব এখন আমরা আসলে সাধারণত যে প্র্যাকটিসটা করি আমরা বলতে আমরা মনে করি আমি বাদে তুমি এবং সে ওই প্র্যাকটিস আমাদের থাকা যাবে না আমরা বলতে আমাকে ইনক্লুড করতে হবে এখানে আর আপনারা সকলে অবগত আছেন যেহেতু আপনারা সরকারের সঙ্গে কাজ করছেন আমরা যারা এখানে আছি বিভিন্ন ভাবে আমরা আসলে এই বর্তমান সরকারের মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী কিন্তু আসলে বহুমুখী উদ্যোগ গ্রহণ গ্রহণ করেছে আমাদের এই স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থায় ইতিমধ্যে স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা আসলে বিশ্বের জন্য বাংলাদেশ স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা কিন্তু রোল মডেল আর এমডিজি যে স্বাস্থ্যগত সাইডে আমরা এমডিজিতে আমরা সফল হয়েছি এখন আবার আমাদের যে আরেকটি বিষয় হলো যে দুই সালে যে ইস্তেহার ছিল আওয়ামী লীগের ওই ইস্তেহারটা কিন্তু বর্তমান সরকার যেহেতু আওয়ামী লীগ সরকার গঠন করেছে ইস্তেহারটা কিন্তু এখন পরিকল্পনা সেই ইস্তেহারে কিন্তু যে তিনটি বাতি ঘরে একটি বাতি ঘর হলো তারুণ্যের শক্তি অর্থাৎ যে স্বপ্ন সোপানটা মাননি প্রধানমন্ত্রী দিয়েছেন আমাদের জনগণকে এই স্বপ্ন সোপানের প্রত্যেক ক্ষেত্রে তারুণের শক্তিকে প্রাধান্য দেওয়া হয়েছে এবং আজকেও দেখেছি আপনাদের শেয়ার নেট এর পিছনে যে আপনাদের ব্যানার ইয়ুথ পাওয়ার ইয়ুথ পাওয়ার দিস ইজ ভেরি এক্সাইটিং এবং আমি মনে করি এটা একটা এক ধরনের অনুপ্রেরণা আমাদের জন্য সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা যে কিশোর কিশোর বয়সটা পার হয়ে তরুণ বয়সে আমরা আসি আমি দেখেছি সঞ্চালক যখন ইন্ট্রোডিউস করিয়ে দিচ্ছিলেন আমাকে তখন বলেছেন যে শিক্ষা ক্ষেত্র আমার শিক্ষা ক্ষেত্রে অর্জনের বিষয় যেটা হলো আসলে আমরা আমি যেটা বিশ্বাস করি যে শিক্ষা ক্ষেত্রে একজন স্টুডেন্ট বা একজন নাগরিকের কিন্তু প্রাথমিক অঙ্কুরোদ্গমের স্থান হলো প্রাথমিক স্তর তেমনি আমরা যদি একটি সুন্দর তরুণ সমাজ চাই আমাদেরকে কিন্তু শিশু থেকে যখন কিশোর বয়সে আমরা আসি ওই কিশোর বয়স থেকে খুব বেশি গুরুত্ব দিই দিতে হবে এই কারণে কারণ কিশোর বয়সে যদি সে একটি আলোকিত পরিবেশ পায় তাহলে কিন্তু সে সুন্দর মানে আলোকিত তরুণ হতে পারবে এবং সেটা দেশের জন্য অনেক বেশি মঙ্গল বয়ে নিয়ে আসবে আর আমাদের আসলে এই আমাদের জেলা প্রশাসক জেলা ম্যাজিস্ট্রেট পদে আমরা কাজ করার কারণে সরকার কর্তৃক গৃহীত সকল কার্যক্রম আমরা বাস্তবায়ন করে থাকি কিন্তু আমি ব্যক্তিগত ভাবে মনে করি শুধু আমি মনে করি না মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী কিন্তু বলেছেন ওনার একটি বক্তব্যে যে একজন উপজেলা নির্বাহী অফিসার এবং একজন জেলা প্রশাসক একটি উপজেলার বা একটি জেলার চেহারা পাল্টে দিতে পারে আমরা আমরা নসিন জেলা প্রশাসন কয়েকটি স্লোগান নিয়ে কাজ করি একটি স্লোগান হলো স্বপ্ন দেখি স্বপ্ন দেখায় আর একটি স্লোগান হলো আলোকাঙ্গন পরিবর্তনের আলোকাঙ্গন নসিন্ধি জেলা প্রশাসন সেই ক্ষেত্রে নসিন্ধি জেলা প্রশাসন কিন্তু আমার নেতৃত্বে কয়েকটি স্থানীয় পদক্ষেপ গ্রহণ করেছে এই পদক্ষেপ গুলো আপনাদেরকে একটু জানিয়ে দিলে ভালো হবে এই পদক্ষেপ গুলোর সঙ্গে কিন্তু আমরা এনজিও এবং অন্যান্য বেসরকারি সংস্থা এবং সরকারি দপ্তরকে সম্পৃক্ত করেছে একটি হলো বাল্য বিবাহ প্রতিরোধে আমাদেরকে কঠোর ভূমিকায় থাকতে হবে আমরা যেহেতু প্রযোজন স্বাস্থ্য যৌন অধিকার সব নিয়ে কথা বলছি যখনই বাল্য বিবাহটাকে আমরা ভালোভাবে রোধ করতে পারবো তখনই কিন্তু ওইগুলো অটোমেটিকলি আমাদের জন্য আরো ভালো হবে ভালোভাবে সুফল বয় নিয়ে আসবে বাল্য বিবাহ প্রতিরোধে সরকারি ব্যবস্থাপনার পাশাপাশি আমরা কিন্তু এখানে আসলে কঠোর অবস্থানটা নিয়েছি বিভিন্ন ভাবে আর একটি জেলাকে বাল্য বিবাহ মুক্ত ঘোষণা করার জন্য একটি টাইম ফ্রেম বেঁধে দিয়েছে একটি উপজেলাকে আর এছাড়া আরেকটি বিষয় হলো যে আমরা আমি বিশ্বাস করি যে আমরা যে কাজই করি না কেন আমরা উঠুন বটিক করি আমরা স্পিচ ডেলিভারি দেই মানুষকে অনেকভাবে মাইকিং করি লিফলেট বিতরণ করি জনসচেতনতামূলক কার্যক্রম করার জন্য কিন্তু এখানে নরসিন্দি জেলা প্রশাসনের একটি অনন্য সৃষ্টি আছে বাধুহারা থিয়েটার স্কুল যে স্কুলটির মাধ্যমে আমরা সাংস্কৃতিক কার্যক্রমের মাধ্যমে মানুষকে সচেতন করে তুলি এটা কেন করি মহান মুক্তি যুদ্ধে কিন্তু সেই আপনার স্বাধীন বাংলা বেতার কেন্দ্রটা ছিল দ্বিতীয় ফ্রন্ট 
ওইখানে কিন্তু আমরা আলোর পথযাত্রী নামে একটি নাটক উপস্থাপন করেছি যেখানে কিন্তু সামাজিক ব্যাধিগুলোকে না বলা হয়েছে আর আরেকটি নাটক মঞ্চস্থ হতে যাচ্ছে সেটি হলো আপনার জীবনের জয় গান সেটিও সামাজিক ব্যাধিকে না করার বিরুদ্ধে না বলার জন্য অবস্থান এটা টিএফডি ফর্মে হচ্ছে থিয়েটার ফর ডেভেলপমেন্ট ফর্মে হচ্ছে আর বয়সন্ধিকাল প্রজন স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা করার জন্য ইতিমধ্যে নরসিংদী জেলা প্রশাসন একটি কার্যক্রম নিয়েছে অজয় নামে একটি প্রকল্প নিয়েছে যেখানে এই স্বাস্থ্য শিক্ষা দেওয়া হবে পাশাপাশি এই যে মাধ্যমিক স্তরে এবং উচ্চ মাধ্যমিক স্তরে যে শিক্ষার্থী আছে বিশেষ করে কন্যা শিক্ষার্থী তারা যাতে তাদের ওই ঋতুস্রাবের পিরিয়ডটায় তারা যাতে ওইখানে কমফোর্ট একটা জোন পায় তাদের প্রতিষ্ঠানে আর একটি বিষয় আমাদের কাজ চলছে কয়েকটি মানে স্পেসিফিক বিষয় বলছে আর কি আমরা যেমন একটি স্বপ্ন ছায়া নামে একটি বুথ স্থাপন করেছি ডাক্তাররাও থাকে এবং এই স্বপ্ন ছায়া বুথে আমাদের যে কাজগুলো হচ্ছে এই কাজগুলো আমি একটু ডিটেলস বলতে চাচ্ছি না আপনাদের আমি প্রয়োজন একটা রাইট হ্যাপ যদি মনে করেন আমি দিয়ে দিব সেটাও কিন্তু প্রয়োজনের স্বাস্থ্য এবং বয়সন্ধিকাল নিয়ে এটার নাম একটি একটি উপজেলাতে তৈরি করা হয়েছে অন্য উপজেলাতে লঞ্চ করা হচ্ছে এই আমাদের এই কার্যক্রম গুলো চলছে আর পাশাপাশি আমি যদি একটু আপনার আলোকপাত করতে চাই কয়েকটা বিষয়ে যেমন আমি শেষ করছি তাহলে আমি একটু আমাদের করুণের সম্পর্কে ফাঁকে ফাঁকে বলেছি তবু আমি একটু বলি যে আমাদের এই ক্ষেত্রে কাজ করার যথেষ্ট প্রয়োজন রয়েছে কারণ এখনো শ্রমজীবী দরিদ্র গ্রামীণ অশিক্ষিত জনগোষ্ঠীর মধ্যে এই বিশ্ব অ্যাওয়ারনেসের অভাব রয়েছে আমরা সকলেই কাজ করছি কিন্তু এই কাজগুলোর ক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু আমাদের সুসম্মানটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট এবং আমরা স্পেশালি যে কাজটা দেখেছি আমাদের যারা বেসরকারি সংস্থাগুলো কাজ করছে অনেক ক্ষেত্রে ডুপ্লিকেশন হচ্ছে ওভারল্যাপিং হচ্ছে মনিটরিং এর অভাবে আমি আপনাদের সকলকে যারা যুক্ত হয়েছেন যারা ধৈর্য ধারণ করে আমার বক্তব্য শুনেছি সকলকে অশেষ ধন্যবাদ জ্ঞাপন করছি এবং নরসিংদী বাসীর পক্ষ থেকে জেলা প্রশাসনের পক্ষ থেকে আবার আপনাদেরকে শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি এবং আপনার আমার বক্তব্য এখানে শেষ করছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম জয় বাংলা বাংলাদেশ চিরজীবী হোক ধন্যবাদ সকলকে থ্যাংক ইউ টু অল Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Honorable District Commissioner, for your uh, inspiring speech. Uh, we, I really wanted to translate it to our guests uh, who do not speak Bangla, but uh, looking at, I'm looking at the clock at the same time. So what we maybe do, we will make a translation and make sure that you get it, get it at a later stage. Uh, we are also getting qu- quite a, uh, some questions for you. For guest speakers already coming coming in uh, i think we will not be able to to share to share discuss these questions either so we'll also try to find a way so that we can convey those questions to you at a later stage sure. um, you're most welcome thank you um we are um honored to have um our special guest with us uh, Um, Her Excellency, the Deputy Ambassador of the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, uh, Ms. Paula Schindler, um, whom I would like to request to share uh, her uh, experience uh, of SRHR and to deliver her speech. Um, We are very thankful having you here. Uh, We are also very thankful that the government of the Netherlands um, is supporting ShareNet, as we all know, We all remember, we know that ShareNet uh, International and ShareNet Bangladesh is being supported by the government of the Netherlands. We, are, um, we, are, we would like to thank you for this. We also know that the, the government uh, of the Kingdom of the Netherlands um, has, been, uh, has played a pioneer role in Bangladesh in putting SRHR um, here in our agenda and mainly focusing on rights, sexual rights, reproductive rights, sexual health, reproductive health. So we would like to thank you for this. Thanks for being us. Over to you. Thank you so much uh, for this introduction. And in order to save you the time, I, I will skip protocol, but I I, welcome, I would greet everybody in the room, respected guests, special guests, government, civil society, and um, all youth participants, everybody this morning, a very warm welcome. And, and I'm so happy to be here today to attend the fifth uh, knowledge fair on uh, on SRHR in Bangladesh. 
Um, and again, it's virtual, but uh, these uh, initial speeches already show that we can share so much information together on such an important topic. So I would really like to thank the in, uh, organizers of inviting me. And as you indeed stated, the Netherlands is a proud partner of ShareNet Bangladesh. And, and we always have a special connection also because ShareNet International is based in Amsterdam and supporting Bangladesh in the area of um, sexual and reproductive health and rights has indeed been an embassy for a long time and also is um, a very important subject uh, to me also personally. Um, and as a working mom, I really am happy that we as the Netherlands, we always um, put this really high on the agenda because I, I'm a great believer that investing in SRHR is really uh, changing lives and um, giving our youth the, the perspective. But again, um, just coming back to the um, why we think it, it's so important as the Netherlands, um, as already some of the speakers said, the sexual and reproductive health and rights are really crucial for achieving gender equality. And investing in the SRHR can really contribute to the realization of the Sustainable Development Goals, in particular SG3, which is good health and, and well-being. But then what does it really mean investing in the SRHR? Uh, because of course, uh, I can imagine that you think, well, what, what can it really change in people's lives? Um, for us, for the Netherlands, it means that investing in the SRHR means ensuring access to quality sexual and reproductive health information, products and services. Because having correct information about reproductive health and sexuality will enable women and men to decide if they want to have children, and if so, how many. This means that eventually they can lead healthier, happier, and more productive lives as a family. And that in turn contributes to a more tolerant and inclusive society in which gender-based violence is really reduced to a minimum. And that is what we are all aiming for. So ladies and gentlemen, in Bangladesh, we see that millions of young people enter the labor market every year, so many of them. And there is no shortage of bright minds. And there is no shortage of ambition. There is plenty of ambition around. But in order to ensure that all these individuals are able to pursue their dreams, their society needs to support, protect, and inspire them. Because only then they will be able to use their full potential and that will that can contribute the further development of Bangladesh. And SRHR is really an intrinsic part of this development and can empower the youth to make free and informed decisions. So that is why we, the Netherlands, we find it so important that we continue to invest in this. And with this note, I would really like to thank once more Shannon Bangladesh for continuing to inspire the youth and all the professionals and practitioners to strengthen sexual and reproductive health and rights in Bangladesh. And a lot of great work has been done and a lot of great work will be done. Um, and, and therefore, I think this knowledge fair is a really important step in, in sharing information, in, in inspiring everybody in the room a live, a live room, of course, but inspiring everybody to continue that very important work. With that, I wish you a very productive and very useful, inspiring knowledge fair. Donabat, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I, I was sorry to be a bit late. I was internet connection problems, but uh, I was very happy to be here. And I look forward to meeting you in person. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Your Excellency, for, for being with us and for your, for your speech. Um, um, as I said, uh, the, the government of the Kingdom of the Netherlands has always been with us, with the SRHR community. So uh, we, we, uh, we uh, are very glad that you made your time. I see also uh, uh, Mashfikapa has joined here. So, um, uh, and everyone, of, of the SRHR community knows her also very well because of the pioneer role of the Dutch embassy. So Mashfikapa, welcome here, and I hope you will stay. 
um, and uh, uh, we can't exactly see how many people are following the broadcast from the venue, but uh, what we have seen that there were 268 professionals have registered themselves. So, um, so, uh, uh, so we are at the end uh, and we have got few qu quite a few questions and uh, we will share, uh, try to share this, find a way so that we can pass this question to you later or we find a way for that. Uh, we um, would like to thank you all for being in this opening session. At 11, our plenary will start. So I would like to welcome you to join the plenary session. Um, and uh, once again, I would like to thank you all for being with, in, with us in the opening session. And I am wishing you on behalf of ShareNet Bangladesh Knowledge Fair a, an inspiring day. Thank you very much. <laughs>